Morgan here for Oneinfinity, and today I'm going to show you my wasteboard. I just finished making a wasteboard for my journeyman, and while I was designing it, I was intentional about keeping in mind the functionality that a wasteboard should have to make it easier and more enjoyable to operate your machine. So here are, in my estimation, three characteristics that make a great CNC wasteboard. Number one, it's flat. Duh. I know this probably goes without saying, but before cutting anything on your CNC, you should always run a surfacing toolpath to make sure that the wasteboard is dead flat and perfectly parallel to the machine's Z-axis. This is especially important when doing engravings. When using V-bits, the depth of a cut has a significant impact on the final appearance of the cut. Number two, keeps your material stationary. In our last video, I went over a handful of work holding methods to secure your material in place on the machine. Of course, there are a number of ancillary items that are there to help you do that, like double-sided tape, screws, vacuum pods, but why do all that when your wasteboard can have a work holding system built into it? My wasteboard uses a grid of dovetail tracks with match fit dovetail hardware to secure a variety of fences, stops, clamps, and hold downs all cut by the machine. And number three, consistent material positioning. To save time, you can set a fixed starting point for every operation at a known distance from the machine's home position. That way, when programming a toolpath, you know exactly where your material will be on the wasteboard and set the XY datum to the machine's default home position. For instance, if I have fences locked at X1 and Y1, then I know that all of my toolpaths from now on should start from that point. And I'll keep that in mind while I'm programming my toolpath. If you're interested in having a wasteboard like this for your machine, vCarve files are available for both the journeyman and the woodworker models, and we'll put a link in the description for you. Well, that's about it for me. I just finished filming this video. I've got a bunch more jigs to cut out. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell somewhere. I hope that this was helpful and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good.